Hi, welcome to Agenity Pro. Agenity Pro is the leading SQL tool for today's data practitioners. This short video will provide you an orientation to the product, its key features, and how to get up and running as quickly as possible. We'll show you how to set up your connections to access any data, how to effectively use the tool to create powerful analytics, and how to reuse some of the unique capabilities to save and reuse your work so you save time instead of rewriting or searching for a useful SQL. Let's get started. If you're watching this video, we'll assume you were able to download and install the product, which is available for Mac or PC. You may have already registered the product uh, successfully, but if you haven't done that, you can use it for seven days without registering. It will stop working after that. Let's take a look and just make sure you know where to get uh, your license and to apply that in case you haven't yet registered. Here I've opened Agenity Pro on Mac, and if you haven't applied your license, just go to Help, Register, to go ahead and enter that. You'll see a couple options there to either request uh, a key by email or you can self-register on our website. Uh, you will need to be connected to the internet to use either of these options. And if you do have any problems with the process, uh, please just email us at support at agility.com. Now that you're all installed and licensed, let's get going by looking at some of the main components of the user interface. If you've used other tools like Agility Workbench or other SQL tools, a lot will be familiar, but we'll highlight where everything is and where a few things are that are perhaps new to you and come back and look at each in more detail. Agility Pro starts with a very blank look, but you can open up different tabs to work with the main functions. I'm going to start here in the upper left by clicking the Database Explorer tab. And you can see that I have a few connections already set up. Uh, that's because I've been using this tool for a little while, um, but yours would likely appear blank. It's going to show you uh, in this section all the connections that you do exist as you set those up. And uh, clicking on this plus sign is going to be the way that you'll set up uh, your first connection. If I go ahead and hit this tab, moving around the UI, this is going to open up the uh, query editor window. This is going to be where you're going to write SQL or paste or, or open SQL that you've already written. Uh, and as you run that, uh, the results will appear here under output at the bottom in a, in a results grid. That should look pretty familiar to uh, the Agility Workbench or, or some other tools and uh, you may have used for other databases. There are a couple tabs here, though, that, you, that are going to look pretty new. Um, let's just show you where those are, and we'll come back to those in this uh, video to, to explain how they work. Uh, there's a tab here for the catalog. Uh, this is allowing you to save your personal SQL. Again, this is going to be empty for you as a new user, uh, but we'll show you how uh, to create uh, folders and organize those SQL for, for easy access. Lastly, uh, there is one tab hiding here on the far right, and that's the Discovery tab. If I click that, this is actually going to allow you as a user to see and search uh, all sorts of, of useful artifacts in the Agenity Pro. You might search your uh, past SQL history uh, for a query that you knew you just wrote uh, but you're looking for. Uh, you could also search uh, that catalog that we were just talking about, as well as you could search um, your database connections to find uh, all of the tables, columns, and, and uh, various uh, uh, objects that you might be looking for. For example, you might want to search for all of the tables that contain the customer ID, uh, and this would show you that. So that we can hide that discovery uh, panel if we're not actively using that to search, but that's where that, that lives over there. So let's come back now and explore a few of these in a little more detail. Uh, I'm going to start with the connections. That's the first step of doing anything in Agenity Pro. So let's go back uh, here and click on Database Explorer. And let's make sure that you can get connected to your data. So as an example, let's go ahead and uh, click the plus button to create a new connection. Uh, let's create a connection to the Red, uh, Redshift database. I'll show you how that works. Uh, you'll be able to, uh, clicking on that is going to prompt you with this connections dialog. It's going to um, have a, a number of fields here that you'd want to enter uh, to connect your database. Most of this information is going to come from your uh, DBA, uh, database administrator, or your, your systems administrator. Um, they're going to have the information for you about what host to connect to. That's usually a server name of the database. Um, and some of the details around whether it requires SSL or not. 
uh, as well as your, your username and password. So Agenity won't provide you with that. Um, you, uh, Agenity Pro uses JDBC uh, to connect to various databases. That's a change from uh, the uh, uh, old Agenity Workbench, which used ODBC. So if you've, if you've used Workbench in the past, uh, you're going to need a different driver uh, than you used with that tool. Um, you should be able to get those drivers uh, uh, in many cases from us. Uh, so in this example here, uh, there isn't yet a driver for Redshift. Uh, it's telling me that here, um, but you can with a single click, uh, actually click and download that. And you can see here in just a couple seconds, uh, we went out to a public repository and downloaded the Redshift driver. Uh, it's possible in your experience when you click this button uh, that this may not uh, download the, the driver correctly. Um, some companies block the, the public repository where, where these drivers are retrieved by Agenity Pro. And in that case, it's not a problem. Um, you're just going to want to edit the driver manually. And you can do that by uh, clicking this or by going uh, up to File, Edit Drivers. Um, and you can see here uh, that uh, there's uh, currently the Redshift drivers already populated. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this um, and uh, click the custom JDBC driver, and this is where you would uh, upload a driver that was provided to you by your own administrators. Um, oftentimes, if you have a, an app store at your company, um, you can search the app store, so maybe you're searching for the Redshift JDBC driver, and that's, a, that's often a way that, that uh, companies make that available. And you'd just be able to click that, and um, you're looking for a, a .jar file, uh, typically, and uh, adding that here would be another way to do that. Um, but again, uh, we do make some of these drivers available uh, through that public repository, and that's the, that's the easiest and fastest way to do that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the query editor. So assuming we've got our connections, and I'm going to do this, uh, demonstrate this using uh, a demo environment that I have on uh, Snowflake, which is a public uh, a cloud database uh, platform. And I'm going to go ahead and you can see here in the query editor, uh, you can create as many tabs uh, as you want. Each tab uh, can connect to uh, one database at a time, but you could have one tab that's connected to Snowflake and maybe you have a different database like a Redshift database uh, connected with another tab. So I'm going to go ahead and stick here in Snowflake and I'm going to just type out a simple query. Uh, if you'd like Agenity Pro to help auto-complete your SQL as you're typing it, it's going to be important to uh, essentially tell Agenity Pro which database you're working with um, so that we can index the uh, tables and columns within that database and then auto-complete would be able to uh, assist you in, in typing out that query. So uh, since I'm going to be using this Agenity Demo database, I'm just going to give this a quick tap. I don't need to do uh, any more than that. You can actually see in the bottom right corner uh, that this actually kicks off in, in indexing, uh, and that means that uh, the autocomplete uh, function is going to be able to help with this. So let's just write a simple query here. And we'll just select all from Genity Demo, public, landing, offering. This is a, a products table. Um, and Class name, it's like sports. Um, I'm a little familiar with this database already, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and write this and run this. And we can see the uh, results here at the bottom. And we'll see the results here in the results grid. Um, so simple query, we actually also support the concept of parameters or prompts. So if this, for example, is a query uh, that I'd like to uh, come back to or share with a, a peer, and instead of uh, always looking for sports, um, I actually want to uh, be able to prompt the uh, user to enter something, um, you can actually put a parameter in here like this. Let's call this a class prompt. And when we run this, uh, it's actually going to prompt us to enter that. So I could still enter uh, sports, which we were just using, but maybe I want to change it this time and enter uh, with games. And you can see now the class name is restricted by games. 
You may have noticed that we have a very clean interface here at Ingenuity Pro. There's not a lot of buttons. It's not a, there's not a big toolbar or ribbon with lots of icons in it. We wanted to give you the most space possible to go ahead and write your queries and, and look at your results. Um, but that means that uh, it doesn't mean that we actually don't have those editor functions. We've just tucked those away into something we call the command palette. Um, so if you're looking for shortcuts that would maybe help you with formatting, um, maybe a way to edit, help edit your SQL faster, you can just hit Command, Shift, and P for a Mac or Control, Shift, P on a, on a Windows machine. And that's actually going to bring up this searchable list of commands. Uh, it's really fast um, to go ahead. If you wanted to use this to, for example, uppercase your SQL, maybe you like to write uh, something in, in all uppercase, uh, go ahead and hit Command, Shift, P, start to type uppercase, and that'll find the function for doing that. Uh, let's, let's do that a little slower. I start typing uppercase and it'll show me that it's function. Um, some of the functions you'll notice actually have shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts already assigned. Um, so if you like, you can just uh, memorize that shortcut. Um, if you are, if you see one that doesn't have a shortcut, you can actually uh, add your own. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, run that here. And the way to add any custom hotkeys um, would just be to go to Agenity Pro key bindings. That's going to open up a little interface where you can uh, pick your own uh, hotkeys for any of the functions. So just if you have your favorite commands already memorized from a previous uh, software or other tool, uh, you can just configure Agenity Pro to work, uh, work like that for you. Okay, let's move on to the results grid. Uh, just a couple quick things to note here. Uh, when you run a query, uh, your results are always going to appear down at the bottom. Um, you have the ability here to uh, select just some of these columns to display, or you can search for those columns if there's a lot of them. Um, you have within each column the ability to uh, create filters or uh, to be able to sort that. Um, so when you click on that, it will go ahead and sort. And you, if you are happy with these results, uh, you can choose to export everything uh, either copying this to your clipboard or exporting it to a file. I'm going to go ahead and export this all to a command separated file and that will just pull up a prompt so that you can go ahead and uh, export those. <clears throat> Let's talk about saving and reusing SQL. Now that you've got uh, maybe a SQL query you're happy with, um, you might want to save this to come back to at a later date. Um, Agility is always going to remember uh, what you're working on so that if you uh, close this file or you shut down your computer when you reopen it it's going to have the same tabs the same content just like where you left off uh, which is going to be great for uh, helping to make sure you don't lose anything if you were trying to clean up your environment and you accidentally closed a tab that you wanted back uh, you can just right click and restore that tab so we'll remember that uh, and you can get back to that um, if you do want to save this outside of Agenity Pro or, or save this uh, beyond just having a tab open so you could close that, there's a couple ways to do that. You're probably used to saving queries as a .sql file on your computer or on a shared drive. And there's a way to do that. You could just right click and say save to tab to file or you can hit file save as. That's going to create a, a .sql file wherever you'd like. But we heard as we were creating Agenity Pro, we heard from a lot of SQL authors and, and, and analysts, SQL writers, that it's it's oftentimes hard to search for the SQL if you've saved it on your hard drive or on a shared drive. And, and when it's hard to find that, it, it often leads people to rewrite something that they've already exist that already existed. And that, that costs time, it, it costs money uh, as you're trying to essentially redo work that you've lost. So we built the Agenity Catalog that we mentioned earlier as a way to save your SQL in a more intuitive, searchable, and executable way. So let's take that query uh, that we just wrote. And this is a nice, simple way to, to, to uh, filter uh, products, like my products table and products database um, by a particular class name. And if I wanted to make, I could save that in a file, but if I wanted to actually create a bit more reusability around that, I could right click this and say I'd like to save this to our catalog. Let's just call this products by class. And we can give it a nice description if we want. Uh, so filter products table by class name. 
I'm just going to save this here in my uh, catalog directory. Um, you can, uh, I actually have a, a pretty detailed catalog with a number of folders, but I'm just going to save it in the top so it's easy to find for this demo. And I'm going to hit create. And that's going to go ahead and when I click over here on the catalog, it is going to um, appear here in uh, the top of my catalog. If I wanted to actually use this, go ahead and to just type the at sign, beginning of curly braces, and if I just started to type product, you can see here it's searching through my catalog. It sees right at the top products by class. Let's go ahead and run that. And it's now running that SQL. It's remembering that I prompted before, and it goes ahead and runs. You can actually hover over this and see uh, that query that we've saved here. And now um, accessing that saved bit of logic is just as easy as uh, starting to type a couple keywords after that shortcut command. So um, this is really useful. You can actually share uh, objects in your catalog. So you could export this, share it with your peers, and import their uh, catalog queries. Uh, so it's a great way to take any SQL statement, um, any batches of SQL statements, or even a, a part of a SQL statement, like a, a where clause or a join clause that you use frequently, um, and save that to your catalog for easy reuse. Check our documentation uh, for some additional details in this feature. We have some blogs on our website for some neat uses of the catalog. And uh, as with the exporting to file, any of the advanced functions or, or new uh, capabilities that we've offered with Agenity Pro, uh, you can find other deeper dive videos on how to use those in the Resource Center or uh, in our documentation or on our website. Lastly, let's look at the discovery pane again and see how that can help us find things that might be useful in our SQL history or database. If I was uh, searching for maybe uh, that offering table, when have I written queries for that, you could search your SQL history. Um, so even if I didn't save that to the catalog, it's going to remember that I've written queries against that table before. Um, you can filter that so that I am searching the catalog and we can actually see uh, that products by class was just created. Uh, and if you wanted to search uh, for tables uh, that contain uh, the word offering um, or columns that contain the word offering, you can search database objects. Um, and that's actually going to allow you to um, navigate very quickly to uh, that particular table or column. You can see right there, uh, it's taken me uh, back to uh, our database explorer and showed me the table where that that text can be found. So hopefully that was a helpful overview uh, of the major functions of Agenity Pro. There's, there's definitely more uh, to be found there. And as I mentioned, there's some deeper dive videos that uh, are accessible to you and additional information in our documentation. Um, so a few places you can go uh, to get some of that additional information. Uh, you can always go to our documentation by just hitting help in the application, open documentation. Uh, you can always look inside the app in that resource center for any announcements. There's also a feedback link there, uh, so you can click that and send us any thoughts or feature requests um, that you might have as you're getting started with the tool. If you want, you'll, you'll receive notes from our product uh, team when new releases come out. Uh, that happens about every month or so. Um, so you will see those announcements in the app, but if you're ever unsure whether you're on the current version, uh, you can just hit the Agility Pro uh, menu bar and check for updates. That's going to automatically uh, get you to the current version. And if there's ever any questions or you encounter any issues uh, or need some help uh, solving a problem, uh, go ahead and just email us at support at and we're here to help.